Well, hey everybody, Cleta the Cheetah here. It is Memorial Day, May the 27th, 2024. And I watched this video just the other day and it was talking about how you want to look 10 years younger and had this girl, she looked really pretty. And then she redid her makeup with half of what she had on and just real natural and said she looked 10 years younger. So I'm going to do less is best since I'm just going to be working around the house today anyway. And let's see how I can do it. Let's see if we can do this in 10 minutes or less. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I thought this was my, <laughs> that's so funny. First thing I want to do is give myself just a little bit of eyebrow. Um, I thought that was my new um, brow gel, but it wasn't. So this crazy camera, I don't know what it thinks I'm doing when I'm doing my brow gel. It starts, I mean, my eyebrows, it keeps going back. So I'm just going to do a little bit. I got to use this with it. I think you can still see. This is just the brunette. I like it because it's thin and you can make kind of hair-like strokes with it. And you're supposed to really do your brows. My friend the other day, she said, your original hair color. What is that, right? In other words, just because you have blonde hair doesn't mean you can't have a little bit darker eyebrows, right? All right. This takes a second, but you got to get some eyebrows on, right? Okay, so brunette eyebrow pencil. And then... We're going to go, I'm going to take, this is my blending brush, actually, with my um, brush set. And I'm going to actually do this right here. It's called Candlelight. And I'm just going to put it right on the lid. Then I'm going to do some biscotti. It's this one right here. It's a mat. It's right under my brow. And then I'm going to do, I don't want it super dark. If I do this, this is called Smoky Quartz. I'm just going to do that right up here. I always use hazelnut. I look back the other day on the video I was doing. I'm like, Cleta, you do hazelnut in every picture. <laughs> I mean, every video. That's not going to get it. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of this cinnabar. <laughs> I have to. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to use the brown waterproof eyeliner pencil. One thing I like about these is they go on real smooth. And then I'm going to use some waterproof mascara. Since I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today, if I'm gonna be working on some tax stuff, if I've got a room I need to clean out in this house that has been become a catch-all. I mean, seriously. And, or 
I'm thinking about wallpaper in my bathroom. That stick and peel, you know, or even possibly the kitchen. <laughs> of course, I don't have the wallpaper, so that would require the, you know, the Home Depot or the Lowe's run. So you need two or three. I went to this workshop one time and she said, when you do your third coat, then you're almost there. One more. <laughs> Some of the people have asked me about my camera. This is the, I actually have a Mac. This is called a studio display. And it's, it's cool because it's supposed to follow you, but it also sometimes doesn't understand makeup videos, right? I really need it just to be still. And of course, you've got to touch up if you messed up any which it looks like I did on this side. And now some of the people that I've watched, they say put nothing on the bottom, nothing at all. I can't do it. I'm not going to do liner, but I am going to put a little bit of mascara. I have to. I'm not going to put a lot, though. Only because you can't see mine at all if there's none on there. I think that'll do it. Okay, eyes are done. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and do my, a little bit of concealer. This is the under eye corrector. And I'm going to do a little bit of the perfecting concealer. This is light beige. Just put it wherever you think you need it. I know I need a little bit up here too. I'm going to smooth that in. And today, instead of foundation, I'm going to use my silky setting powder. You may wonder why I put it around my mouth. I have a scar where I took a nosedive and hit a side table, falling over a, uh, <laughs> it looks a lot better, falling over a little stool. I mean, I thought I broke my teeth out and I really cut my lip. This is the Deep Ivory, and honestly, I wear a beige 200, and I also wear the medium to deep, but it seems to be a pretty good color for me. I don't know. I may have to change it a little bit later, and I'm just using my all-over powder brush. Pretty color. Okay. Silky setting powder. Love it. And 
Then I'm gonna do just a little cheeks. And today I'm gonna use a little bit of this shy blush right here. And then I'm gonna contour a little bit with this latte right here. And then a little bit of highlighter. And I'm just gonna actually Make sure that's blended. All right, and then I'm going to use this. Um, this is actually called Pink Nude. I'm not using much liner. And then this is Coral Confetti. Okay, do I look 10 years younger? <laughs> All right, this is just a real quick, easy, natural look. So give me your comments. I'd love to hear it. Of course, it's all Mary Kay and you know where you can get it from me. Have a great day.